Hey guys, the VHS Brewing back here once again, and this is a VHS and CD update for April 6, 2019. Let's get right down to it. Start off with the VHS tapes that I got. <laughs> This is the uh, 1997 uh, animated version of A Christmas Carol. This comes in one of those hard uh, clamshell cases that are hard to open. There we go. The 41st week of 1997. And it comes with this... Uh, Save up to six dollars by mail on these clearly refreshing family favorites, which has an ad for Christmas Carol and uh, Jingle All the Way, and yeah, it comes with some kind of a uh, rebate offer here. So yeah, Right. This one looked pretty interesting, so I figured I'd get this tape. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is, but it looks pretty cool, so I might have to uh, give this tape a watch to see what it is. And it's got this thing. Yep. I got next up is a uh, no, is a uh, Mexican uh, Spanish uh, VHS, and this is another uh, Disney Mexican Spanish VHS. This one is the Magical World of Winnie the Pooh, all for one, one for all, or as it's called in Spanish, El Mundo Magico de Winnie Pooh, Todos para uno, una para todos. Yep, another Mexican-Spanish Disney tape for my collection. It's got the hologram sticker on the side. Yep. Yeah, pretty cool that I found this. Um... Yep, this is Walt Disney Home Entertainment. It says in Espanol. www.disneylatino.com So, yeah. And it's got the Buena Vista Castle engraved on the inside of the case. Got the, of course, it's got the uh, the purple tape and the Disney V logo inside the reel. May 29th, 2003. I'll have to uh, check the 
opening. I'll have to do the uh, opening closing to this tape at some point. <laughs> I'd be willing to bet it probably has a silent white screen death at the beginning and the regular white screen death at the end. <laughs> See, I'm definitely going to do the opening and closing to this tape at some point <laughs> when I get the chance. Now into slip covers. The total running time of this mini series is 233 minutes. And yep. January 31st, 1994. And of course, this tape is in EP mode since it's the entire uh, mini series on one uh, tape. <laughs> Obviously, to uh, fit 233 minutes of content on one tape, it would have to be in EP mode. And yes, this is the this is the entire movie, and you can tell because it doesn't say tape one or anything like that on it. <laughs> Next up is an extremely rare 2006 Universal Studios Home Entertainment VHS. This is a Universal movie co-produced by uh, Morgan Creek. Yep, you can see. Uh, yep, there you go. You can see it says 2006 right there. This is a full rental from Curly's video in St. Johnsville, New York. January 3rd, 2006. So yeah, this is my first my first uh, 2006 Universal tape that I have. All right. I got a couple more uh, Christmas things. This is from some company called Paraclete Video Productions. I don't see any printy on here. This is a Vestron tape. Got oversized reels. Uh, 
and it does have a uh, sticker on uh, top, but does not appear to have any uh, printing on it, just these uh, printings. Yep. It has a uh, crack right there, but this tape should still play fine. June 24th, 1999. Got a couple uh, music tapes. This is Dave Matthews Band, the videos, 1994 to 2001. This does have a print date in invisible red ink. Uh, August 4th, 2001. So that was just a little over a month before 9-11 uh, happened. When I saw this tape today, I just knew I had to get it for my uh, collection. Yep, this is an MPI home video release. I hope to get the actual movie, uh, This is Spinal Tap, on VHS at, at some point. Yep. Like a lot of MPI releases, this has no print date. There are some printings, but no print date. Next one's a uh, screening copy. Screen copy plus trailer. For promotional purposes only, not for rental or resale. Someone named... It's got someone named Hayes Place written on there. Whatever that is. Yep, it says trailer and full screening copy. Street date for this movie was October 31st, Halloween 1994.
Up next, I got another is another uh, I got another MGMUA movie timetable for the collect for my uh, collection. Looks like there was a uh, sticker here on at uh, some point, but it was uh peeled off and unfortunately left a little bit of uh, damage, but no biggie. Yeah, e even though I hear this is considered to be one of the absolute worst uh, comic book movies of all time, I still have to get this tape for my collection since it's a, uh, a uh, MGM a movie time tape. Yeah, I'll pretty much, I'll pretty much buy any uh, MGM movie time tape for my uh, collection. So yeah. Although uh, Jeff, although Jeff Craig of a sixty second preview gives it uh, four stars. So that's good. Yeah, this is a pretty cool uh, v VHS release of this uh, film. January 29th, 1998. Alright. This one is called Elvis in the Movies, a complete film documentary. Rare highlights from every Elvis film. The complete collection of all 33 movie previews. Yeah, this, so yeah, this is a pretty cool VHS right here. Another, yet another good time save for my collection. Yep, the complete documentary of rare movie trailers starring the King from 1956 through 1972. So yeah, this looks like it has the trailer, the uh, previews for every Elvis movie ever made, which is really, really cool. It's in black and white and color, and it's 80 minutes long. Looks like there's a little bit of uh, uh, mold on the tape right there, so, but I'm sure that's not going to affect the. Uh, this will probably still play perfectly fine, I'm sure. Yeah, it's just a little bit right there, so it shouldn't affect it. I hope not, anyway. It does have the recording tab, so I think you know the drill here. There you go. And, of course, uh, well, yeah, do, we, do I even need to say it? We all know what it has at the end since it's a good times tape. got oversized reels on it. Again, it has the recording tab, so I will break it off. Yep. And I believe this this tape does appear to be in EP mode. It's 
got, this has Shemp, Mo, and Larry on television, Knife of the Party, Hollywood on Parade, plus more. Yep. And, as you can see, the the original uh, owner of this tape was nice enough to write the uh, title on there in, uh, looks like, green uh, marker. So that was nice of them to do that for, for us. Yep. Yeah, about t about time I got another Little Rascals Republic Pictures tape from my collection. This one has Bear Facts and Hook and Ladder. Uh, Bear Facts is from nineteen is a nineteen thirty eight short, and uh, Hook and Ladder is a nineteen thirty two short. <laughs> And this tape is from 1991. There's a better view of the uh, the back cover there. Uh, no, no print date or weekend year code or anything on this one. This next one's still uh, sealed. My first Paragon videotape. Yep, my first Paragon video production tape that I have. Does I'm not sure what year this movie is from because it doesn't say. But here, let me look up on my uh, phone uh, what year this movie's from. This this film is from 1971, according to uh, according to uh, Google here. Although it was actually released in 1973 in uh, Bismarck. Let's see. Yep, 1971. As she says, it's a 1971 French, Spanish, Italian, and British, uh, like, co-production film. Okay. So, yeah, if you guys wondered what kind of phone I, what, what kind of phone I have, hey, there you go. This is a uh, Verizon uh, LG phone. 
I, I might, I might have to, I think I, I think I might have to, uh, upgrade to a new, uh, phone, uh, sometime this year. This one, uh, this one's getting kind of old, so, yeah, I might have to, I'm pro probably gonna upgrade my phone, uh, sometime before the end of the year. Maybe I'll ask for a new one for Christmas this year, I'm not sure. But, yeah. So, yeah, this is a 1971 film. Alright. We're gonna get this out of the shrink wrap. There's already a bit of an opening right there, so... This should be easy to get into. I would hope, anyway. Huh. This must have been this must have been a like a resealed uh for a rental. No label on this tape for some odd reason. And it does have the uh, recording tab, so I will break it off. Oh, it's popped right off. That's weird. There's no uh, label on this tape whatsoever. Huh. I assume, I mean, I assume this is probably the right uh, movie, but... Yeah, I wouldn't know because it doesn't say. Now I'm going to, well, I'm going to have uh, to... Put this tape in to uh, make sure it's the uh, correct uh, film. That's weird that it, it, that it has no uh, label on it. Wonder how that ha wonder how that happened. I assume this I assume this was probably uh, re shrink wrapped. But why would there not be a label on there? That's that's weird. So uh, yeah, that's uh, interesting, but okay. And then the last two uh, tapes I got, well, besides a uh, blank tape that I got, which I'll show you guys in a minute, but the last two tapes uh, I got are both uh, Paramount tapes. <laughs> nineteen seventy seven film. This is a nighttime one uh VHS but and the box says Paramount has the uh, Paramount Communications uh, company byline. But however the tape itself still uses the uh Gulf Western uh labels from uh nineteen eighty eight and it's recorded on a scotch tape. And this was printed in the third week of nineteen ninety one. So yeah, and someone wrote early on there in a, a red uh, marker, and on the case too. I don't this one. I don't think this one was a uh, former rental. It might have been, but yeah. I've been looking for this movie for a while for my collection, and now I finally have it. <laughs> yeah, the sp yeah this spine's a little. You can tell this spine's a little uh, sun faded, especially compared to uh, that spine. But better than nothing. 
like I said, I've been looking for this movie for my collection for a while, so I I had to pick it up, regardless if the uh, spine was sun faded or not. This is a 1953 film, and you can kind of tell, even though it's kind of ripped, but you can kind of tell by that that this is a uh, Columbia House uh, copy. It's got part of the uh, those like brown layers that say CHC, even though it's kind of ripped right there, but you can still kind of tell right there. So, yep, this is a, a Columbia House copy, which is really cool. And it's a 1991 VHS, but this copy is a 1996 reprint. <laughs> See, it's right there. It says 1996 on it. So, yep. And label... Printed in the 50th week of 1996. You can see it also says CHC right there as well. So, yeah. And then the last VHS I got is this uh, blank uh, uh, VHS tape. Yeah, this is a different brand I'd never really seen before. So that's cool. Alright, so those were the VHS tapes I got. Now... And, but I also got some really cool uh, CDs. So, I'm going to put the camera like this. So, as far as what Christmas ones I got, I'll just show you these ones real quickly. There you go. Make sure you guys can read those okay. Tip, those are the uh, Christmas ones that I got. Alright. But I also got a whole bunch more really cool uh, soundtracks here. <laughs> I got the uh, soundtrack to uh, Alien. Very cool. Uh, it's a double disc uh, set. Uh, disc 1 is the complete original score and the rescored alternate cues. And this too is the original 1979 soundtrack album plus uh, bonus tracks. So I thought thought this was pretty cool. Like I said, it's a double double disc, and there's the inside of it. So yeah, I'll have to play this during next uh, October. This is cool. I got King Kong, the complete 1933 uh, film score. So basically the score to the classic original 1933 King Kong. Yep. Yep, there's me and there's uh, you guys right there. Yep, there's the CD. Got the soundtrack to the Alamo. Very cool. This is, yep, this is the uh, John Wayne uh, Alamo, which I do have. Very cool. Soundtrack to Ice Station Zebra. There's the inside of it. Very cool as well. This is cool. We have Mysterious Island. The complete Bernard Herrmann motion picture score. Yep. 
This is a uh, classic uh, 1960s uh, sci-fi film. I believe it's 1960s. And I actually do not own a copy of this movie yet in my uh, collection, but I am looking for it. That's very cool. I got that. I have the soundtrack to Assault on a Queen with music by uh, Duke Ellington. This is a uh, Frank Sinatra movie that I know of, but I do not have yet. But I hope to get it from my collection at some point. Very cool, and uh, as it says, uh, this one is a limited edition of uh, 1,000 units. Got the soundtrack to Outland. I've actually never heard of this uh, movie. But it's apparently a uh, 1981 uh, sci-fi movie starring... Uh, uh, I believe uh, Sean uh, Connery. So yeah, now that I have this cool uh, soundtrack, I'll have to find the actual movie. And this is another double disc uh, set. It's disc one. Disc two. Soundtrack to Captain Nemo and the Underwater City. Another movie that I never heard of. But does star uh, Chuck Connors and uh, Robert Ryan. So yeah, there's some... And this one is, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, Outland is, uh, this pressing limited, is limited to, uh, 5,000 copies, and, uh, Captain Nemo is 1,500 1, copies. I also got Fantastic Voyage soundtrack. This one's limited to 3,000 copies. Soundtrack to H.G. Wells' The Time Machine. Yeah, some really cool uh, artwork on... Some very cool uh, artwork on these uh, like limited edition uh, soundtracks. And then these two are uh, double feature soundtracks. This one uh, has a soundtrack to both Atlantis the Lost Continent and uh, some other movie called The Power. And this is cool because the, uh, the artwork is actually double sided. This side is Atlantis the Lost Continent and then the other side is uh, The Power. So that's very cool and as you can see on the uh, disc it has a picture from Atlantis Lost Continent on the top, and then on the other side, on the flip side of the disc, it's got a picture from the power. And lastly, this one contains the soundtracks for On the Beach and uh, The Secret of Santa Victoria, which are both uh, Gregory Peck movies. Yep, and the artwork's also double-sided on this one.
So yeah, a lot of really cool, a lot more really cool uh, soundtracks there, and some good VHS tapes as well. So that's it for this uh, update video, and peace out, guys.